How about the big uh, show at Rustwood Park scheduled for July 4th? Bob Johnson surely, I know, wants us to mention that, and we want to mention it. I believe the proceeds from this show go to the Cynthia Milk Fund. Is that right, Elvis? Yes, sir, that's right. And uh, uh, I'd like to say uh, that, uh, uh, let's see, what would I like to say? Uh, I'd, I'd like to say that we have a, a diamond ring that we're going to uh, have as a door prize. Uh -huh. uh, it, it's my initial ring. I've had it for some time, and it has 14 diamonds in it. And uh, we're going to give it away at the door as a door prize. I see. And uh, everything. And all the, all the proceeds from this particular show, this is July 4th at Rustwood Park. Elvis is going to be there. He's going to sing and play. His band will be there. Many other stars will be there, too. And we will certainly want you to watch Bob Johnson's column in the Memphis Press Cemetery. Watch all the publicity on it and get your tickets in advance. Elvis Presley? I want to thank you again because thank we know you're a busy man and thanks a lot for coming by and seeing us at the dance party and saying hello to all your friends here in Memphis and the Mid-South. Anytime you're in town and want to come by, we certainly will welcome you. Well, thank you very much, Wayne, and I'll see you again. Okay, thanks a lot. Elvis Presley. Ask me about my mother. Elvis, do the other soldiers give you a rough time because you're famous? No, sir, I was very surprised. Uh, I I've never met a, 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 a better group of boys in my life. They... Uh, they probably would have uh, if it had been like everybody thought. I mean, everybody thought I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't have to work and I would uh, be given special treatment and this and that. But when they looked around and saw I was, I was on KP and I was pulling guard and everything just like they were, well, they figured, well, he's just like us. Elvis, what do you think about going to Germany? Uh, well, sir, I'm kind of looking forward to it. I mean, uh, uh, just before I came in the Army, we were planning a tour of Europe. And, uh, I, I uh, got uh, quite a bit of Introducing Mr. Vernon Presley, Elvis Presley's father. <laughs> Mr. Presley has a friend coming out. First of all, I plead innocent of all charges. Okay. Thank you, dear. I love you, too. Thank you. I think I think it was a matter of not getting the building, the proper building. We had to wait our turn in order to, to get the building. Yeah. Couldn't get a good building in 15 years. <laughs> no, all kidding aside, we had to wait our turn to get in, into the garden. You know. Oh, I like it. You know. How do you think you've outlasted every other entertainer from the 50s and, for that matter, the 60s as well? I take vitamin E. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I'm only kidding. I don't know. I just <laughs> embarrass myself, man. Uh, I, I don't know, dear. I just, I enjoy the business. I like what I'm doing. On the press corps, that you really are a shy humble, wonderful human being. Would you agree with that? Oh, I don't know what makes him think that. I, you know, this gold belt and this... <laughs> uh, no. uh, Mr. Presley, Mr. Presley. No, that's it. <laughs> Mr. Presley, while you're up, don't change that position okay. for a minute. Uh, I'm, re uh, no. I'm reminded of the Ed Sullivan shows where they wouldn't shoot so that. So am I. Road. That's why I'm sitting down. <laughs> <laughs> if I can find the right kind of... No, I stopped using that greasy kid stuff, too. <laughs> Just like everybody else did, man. Yeah. Man, I was tame compared to what they do now. Are you kidding? I, <laughs> I didn't do anything. We just jiggle, you know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I don't know. I, I I really can't criticize anybody. I, you know, in the entertainment field, I I think there's room for everybody, and I I hate to criticize another performer. Uh, uh, well, the image is one thing, and a human being is another, you know, so. How close does oh. it come? How close does the image come to the man? It's, 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 it's very hard to live up to an image, I'll put it that way. Yeah. I, I, it's according to what you're talking about, I don't know. <laughs>
No, I, I, I don't know. I, I'd like to. I'd like to think so. I beg your pardon. Well, I found that uh, in the audiences that we have, it's it's mixed. It's it's older people, younger people, and, and the very young, and uh, all types of people, you know, which is good. Hunt. Uh, now, I, uh, I just made a movie of, of the last tour that I did. It's the first live concert that we ever filmed, so that's my next project that's coming out. Let's go. We I just missed it. I, I missed the, uh, the, uh, the closeness of, a, of an audience, of a live audience. So just as soon as I got out of the movie contracts, I, uh, I started to do live performances again. Will you be doing more and more now? I, I, th I think so. Because, I'm, I'm sorry, there's so many places that I haven't been yet. Like, I've, I've never played New York here. You know. I've never been to Britain either, you know. I, I'd like it to, yes, sir. I'd like to very much. I'd like to go to Europe. I'd like to go to Japan and all those places. I've never been out of this country except in the service, you know. Oh, uh, Mr. Presley, on the subject of the service, what is your opinion of war protesters, and would you today refuse to be drafted? Honey, I just, I just tend to keep my own personal views about that to myself, because I'm, I'm, I'm just an entertainer, and I... I'd really not say. Do you think other entertainers should keep their views to themselves too? No. I can't even say that. I beg your pardon? I, I might. Yeah. I might. Yeah. It's recording. Yeah. You're allowed to, to what, dear? I don't know. That's a good question. Why is that, Colonel? <laughs> she said, why could they film the concert in Boston? They couldn't film it here. What? What did he say? So there you go. Yes. Yes. I just don't feel that, that it's, it's time yet. You know, maybe I will someday, but, but not right now. Yeah. Who's talking? The camera? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't see. What did you say? Do you think that your return signals the start of the return of the big game? I don't know. I, I didn't know they ever stopped. Did, did they stop? <laughs> talking out of the table, do okay. have any other aspirations in politics or anything of that nature? No. Oh, yeah, I'd like to do something. Uh... Okay. <laughs> it's very difficult to find. Uh, that type of song. It's, it's hard to find good material in our days, you know, for everybody, for all of us, you know. It, it's just, it, it's very difficult to find any good hard rock songs. Really. If I could find them, I, I, I would do them, you know. Mr. Presley, who do you find uh, sexy? Who are the people you think are sexy? Uh, Where of it, really. I really can't sit them down. <laughs> no, no, I, I can't. I can't do that. I, I just shouldn't save it for the show. I'm, Mr. Presley, what do you think of women's? <laughs> uh, what do you think of women's liberation? Well, you know, <laughs> watch it is right. No, I. Uh, on social comments like that, dear, I, I just shouldn't like to make a comment. Some of you people that had all these pictures, would you? Be nice to step aside and let these others take a few pictures. Please, please, step aside, please. Let's all back up. I think we're okay.
Come on up with your camera. Come on, let's the, uh, You're getting the camera. Come on, step aside. Wait, wait. The, the, uh, oh, the, the belt is Come on, a, bring your cameras okay. over here. Ahead, the belt is an award from the... And, Come on through here. As soon as the colonel gets through talking, I'll tell you. <laughs> the belt is an award. Can we talk to the, your father? Can we talk to your father? Will I talk to my father? Can, yeah, can I? Can I we ask to. him a question? <laughs> he has all ask my him. personal affairs. Right? Can we ask him a question? No. Can we ask your father a question? Oh, sure. I'm oh, um, the other Mr. Presley. Uh, at one point, did you realize that your son was more than your son and now a very, very famous person? Well, it's, it's kind of hard to say, you know, it, uh, it happened so fast, it's hard to keep up with it, you know. It just oh, boom shit. overnight and there it was. <laughs> but, so I'd say maybe probably 1956, the first television show. Do you have any regrets that I he's become I tried to tell him sooner, but he wouldn't listen. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have no regrets of it. In fact, I have enjoyed it, really. Uh, all kidding aside, it happened very fast to all of us, my mother and my father and all of us. That, you know, everything happened overnight, and so we had to adjust to a lot of things very quickly. You know. a, a lot of good things. Senior, uh, after Elvis got famous, do you think he changed in any way at all? No, he, no, not really. I can't tell if he changed. Elvis? I sweat more. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I can't. There's a lot of them. I can't think of any right off hand. I like to live up to my reputation of being a nice guy. This is it, folks. <laughs> Beautiful, baby. I've got to go back to rehearsal, folks. Thank you very much. Presley joined RCA record president Rocco Laganestra to announce the concert, and nearby, as he always is, just out of camera range, Colonel Tom Parker. I'm still on stage. I'm on stage. This is the first time that I've seen this myself. It's uh, this is just the start of this. Again. As the first performer to do a worldwide live concert via satellite, a real spectacular. And the second is that we will have a worldwide album via satellite. All of this has been made possible by the joint efforts of a lot of people, and especially including Colonel Tom Parker. Elvis, again, my congratulations for this spectacular. Thank you, sir. Thank you. It's uh, very hard to comprehend it because I, in 15 years, it's hard to comprehend that happening, you know. How, how to do you to all, the, all the countries all over the world via satellite, it's very difficult to comprehend. A live concert, to me, is exciting because of all the electricity that's, that's generated in the crowd and on stage. But uh, it's my favorite part of, of, of the business, is a live, live concert. How do you pace yourself? Sir? How do you pace yourself? Uh, you mean physically, vocally, or? So you are up when you need to be up? I just uh, uh, I exercise every day. I vocalize every day. No, I practice if I'm working uh, or not. No. So I just try to stay in shape all the time. Vocally and mentally. And Which is harder? <laughs> well, both are tough, yeah. You got to work at them, but I, I don't mind it, you know. It's worth it. Uh, well, now they shoot me all the way, see, so just the waist down. Now, uh, but I would like to think that I, am, I had improved as an entertainer. 
uh, and I like to get their rapport with an audience because it's a give and take thing. If you can, if you keep, if you can do that, it works. You know, if the artist or whoever is performing can get that kind of rapport going with the audience, then it really it it, it pays off. It's good. You know. But do you feel that you have more of that rapport now than you did 15 years ago? I couldn't answer that. I really couldn't. I must say this about the, uh, when we first approached the various countries around the world, uh, Elvis is a, certainly the only performer that could do this today. He is well known in every country that we have taught, in fact, in every country in the world. And the acceptance was just fantastic. It wasn't a case of any selling. Because, you know, he's been in demand for live performances around the world, but you just can't do this, so this is the way of approaching it. But his, the acceptance exceeded all of our expectations, Elvis. Thank you very much. That's very nice. Monique, you come right in here, sweetheart. That's it. You face that way. Turn right around that way. Hurry, sweetheart. Hi. And one second, we're ready to roll. One second. And is she pretty? Is she pretty? Huh? Beautiful. Okay. Good. Uh, Elvis, uh, I'd like to introduce you to Monique Brave from the Sioux Indian tribe here in Rapid City, and Mayor LaCroix, who's uh, got a presentation for you also. Elvis, on behalf of the citizens of Rapid City and the community, welcome to Rapid City, and we appreciate you being our first concert in our new auditorium Thank you. and this says so on our plaque it's for your grand opening concert here That's fantastic. Thank, Thank you very much for being with us Thank you, very nice. And Monique? Hi Monique Hi This is a medallion of life for you Elvis from the Sioux, from the Sioux Nation Oh that's lovely Thank you Thank you Good luck to you, Elvis. Uh, yeah, we can give him a yeah. scarf. We'll give her. So I like it, boy. Fred Las Vegas. What uh, what made you decide to come to Texas? Oh uh, well, <coughs> you know, to tell you the truth, I started out here in Texas. I I think the the the, uh, the first shows that I worked was down here, man, around Houston. Remember what location did you work here in Texas? Well, I worked uh, I worked Houston. I worked. Uh, Corpus Christi. I, I have a little town here, Longview. Man, you, you name it, I've been there. You know. Really, I've been all over Texas. What do you think of Texas? <laughs> I like it. I like it. Elvis, can you really give enjoy. us? Uh, uh, understand with all the big uh, engagements like Las Vegas, etc. The reason why you selected the livestock show and rodeo this year? Well, uh, the. Uh, they asked me to do it, and I was anxious to do some live appearances. You know, I haven't, it's been a long time since I've been on stage in front of anybody live. And uh, I was anxious to do some live appearances, and I thought it'd be a good opportunity to get in front of the people. Have you ever seen the inside of the dome before? Never have. It scares them. <laughs> it's a big place, man, you know. You've been known in the past as the king of rock and roll. Do you think your style has changed now from uh, today to the word king, or do you consider that still your style? Uh, 
Well, I think the overall thing has improved. Uh, the overall sound's improved, I mean. But I think it, uh, it's, it's according to the songs, you know, it's according to the songs. Is your stage pre uh, presentation still the same way it was, or have you improved on that? I, well, I just do whatever I feel on stage, you know. I just always did that. Are you going to keep making films? Hope to. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I'd like to make better films than that I kind of made them before. Well, better than the ones I've made before. You know. I mean, uh, <coughs> Excuse me, I can't Romance. take this fresh air, man. I'm used to the back, the garbage can at the uh, International Hotel, man. <laughs> If I can't smell some garbage, I don't feel at home, man, I'll tell you. <laughs> Do you have any films in right now or any plans? No, there's nothing in, as far as I know of, is it, Colonel? Anything in the workings? I can't commit myself. An 8 millimeter Walt Disney special we're doing next year, I think. I don't know. <laughs> we're shooting until now, right? There's nothing as far as I know. No. When you look at your opportunity to go and try to fill up the Astrodome, well, it, it'll be the type of stuff that I do. It's a mixture of things, you know. It's it's uh, a little rock and a little, little country western. Is it the same thing you do there in National Hotel? Yeah, it's the same type of thing. A lot of different type of songs. So I, I just hope I can put on a good show, man. What happened to the Jordan Airs? I can't get them out of Nashville, man. They, they got stuck in Nashville and, uh, <laughs> you know, they make so much money and they, they do... They, they do so well in Nashville, you, you can't get them out of there. Do you have any thoughts about the rising interest in country music? I think it's fantastic. You see, country music was always a part of, uh, of the influence on my, on my type of music anyway. It's a combination of, of uh, country music and gospel and rhythm and blues all combined is what it really, really was. As a child, I was influenced by all of that. Do you consider yourself basically a country music singer then? Uh, I would hate to say strictly country because of the fact that uh, I liked all different types of music when I was a child. You know, of course the Grand Ole Opry was the first thing I ever heard probably. But I liked blues and I liked uh, the, the uh, gospel music, gospel quartets and all that. Did you ever pull out any of those old records from the Sun label and listen to them at all? <laughs> <laughs> they sound funny, but <laughs> they got a lot of echo on them, man, I'll tell you. Uh, <coughs> but that's what I mean, I, I think the overall sound has improved today, you know. Well, do you think there's more gimmicks today than there was, uh, say, 15 years ago? There, there, there's probably more gimmicks, but I think that uh, I think that the, the engineers have improved, and I think that the techniques have improved, the overall recording. Consideration of uh, further reevaluation of your career to get you back in front of live audiences again? <coughs> In other words, you, you, you are available to the public only in films yeah. for a long period of time. Well, I think the most important thing is the, uh, the, the, the inspiration that I got from a live audience. I was missing that. I didn't... Was it rough at the International? Was it um, a little bit of a strain on you for not being out for it was always tough, but I enjoyed it. I, I did something. Yeah, I enjoy it. Like I, I, I know I'm going to enjoy it here because it's just, it's just, it's live audience and it makes a world of difference. Let me ask you one thing. What's your father up to? He's running somewhere. Ask him. I don't know. Daddy, what are you up to? Skip the phone. Miss Presley. Elvis. Uh, Elvis. Uh, Elvis. Uh, Elvis. Uh, Elvis. 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 Elvis.
What do you do for relaxation? You said you study karate. <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if you can relax doing this, I don't know. No, I I, uh, I, I read a lot and uh, go horseback riding and stuff like that. Do you still live principally in uh, Memphis? <laughs> About half the time. Yeah, half the time. Half the time in L.A. In the show you have planned for the dome, you plan any of the old old songs, some of the first ones? I'd like to, you know. Any special ones? Try to, a couple of them. Just if they work. <laughs> How big is your band with you, Elvis? I got my band. Elvis, it's good to see you. I got it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good to see you. Thank you. Elvis, let me let me pin this on. This is your official badge. And we got another one. Didn't want to put your name on that if people didn't know who you were, but we were afraid they'd be trying to take it off for a souvenir. We want to <laughs> pin that on you. <laughs> 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 Mr. President, it's a real pleasure to have you down here when you start. Thank you, sir. Thank you. We're going to set all kinds of records down here. I hope so. I, I hope I can give them a good show. That's the most important yeah, thing. You will. You, no question you about will. that. Sure will. <laughs> if I can give them a good show, then I feel like I've done something. You What's will. the biggest live like crowd you've ever performed for? Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it was... Uh, in Vancouver, Canada, when a colonel cotton bowl. in the Cotton Bowl in Dallas, uh, it was about uh, I don't know, twenty-five thousand, I guess, something like that. So on today's ride, is Mr. Gracie here? Mr. Gracie, Mr. Gracie, we're going to start our livestock show with the great man, Mr. Chris Caramanis. Congratulations, sir. Very good. I think he deserves a little recognition. Well, I, I think so. If it's the right type of, of song, I think so. If it's, if it's the right type of material. You've you read a couple of songs. I, I, yes, I have. I did like, in, the in the ghetto and uh, uh, I don't know. I wouldn't like to do all that type of stuff, you know. Well, I, in, in other words, I wouldn't like for everything to be a message because I think that there's still entertainment to be, you know, uh, considered.